welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Another vlog coming at you on the motor. Got a bunch of new parts here, ready to go on, and gonna unbox the first one, which, as you can tell, this is a brand new intercooler pump. It is a Bosch, as you can see right there. So that will obviously get mounted down here like so and I have the bracket for that somewhere have to obviously find it so we got that and I do also want to put on the hoses here for the oil cooler and one thing that I do know I'm gonna have an issue with move the motor here a little bit but if you compare the two blocks from like this one to the oil cooler on the old block and you just kind of Check that one out a little bit. Right there's your one of your uh, hose connections and then another one. And then we come up to here. This is completely different. So I think I talked about it in a video before that when you order this block from ZZP, it is a LDK block. So it is not, it's almost the same exact thing. There's slight variances. Um, I did have to do a little drilling out of the bracket for the intercooler because um, these were actually bigger threads, so that's a slight difference. Um, and the oil cooler is one of the bigger differences. So I talked to them about it. They just said I should have to trim the hoses, so I didn't really mess around with it too much yet. But it's a pretty big difference, so I'm not really sure if just trimming them is gonna suffice with that. I'm not 100% sure. I didn't really try it yet. It might. Um, I know they are flexible hoses, so but I don't want to pinch them off at all or anything like that. So uh, definitely want to get those on as well. And then what I have, I have finally I got the spark plugs. And obviously you can see these are NGK, Iridium IX. And these are, I think, one step cooler. And then I have the billet oil cap from ZZP as well, which is gonna be adding a nice touch to the top of the motor. So we'll get that put in as well, which that'll take like two seconds. And I can also get the intake end of the, uh, for the camshaft cap or whatever you wanna call it there. Um, I have to find that, but might not worry about that, but I definitely wanna get the hoses on for the oil cooler. We're gonna get the plugs thrown in and the intercooler pump thrown in on the other side, as well as the oil cap. So the spark plugs are officially in and torqued to, I believe it was 15 foot pounds. 
and oil cap is in so at this point i'm kind of waiting on the other end of the bracket for the intercooler to dry from paint and then that can be mounted might have to do another coat not entirely sure so in the meantime i think we are going to try and figure out how these hoses are going to work and if i can make them work um, without having any potential issues down the road so I'm just gonna try and mess around with this a little bit and see what I come up with and maybe I can trim it and just bend it a little bit the hoses are flexible so maybe I can figure something out and don't have to do anything major so after digging around with trying to get these hoses to work and I actually cut the one um, on for the backside here and that one fits a little better so going from the back one here and then going to this one that one fits a little better um, the only thing I do not like is it's kind of really close to where the tra tranny has to mount and it is kind of touching the block which I don't know if that would be an issue but kind of vibrations and everything I don't really want it to vibrate through the hose um, not that it would or anything but I just don't want to take a chance um, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold off on that for right now I'm gonna get back in touch with ZZP and see what they think about it or maybe they can get me hoses that are specific for like the LDK um, and go from there and if they can't and maybe they can tell me somewhere to go and get them if not then what I'm gonna resort to is I'm gonna just take some of this to an auto parts store or anywhere and see if I can just get straight hose lengths um, of this of this flexible stuff and then I would just do my own kind of custom line because I mean it really is all but straight especially this one from here to here is pretty much a straight hose and this one just has a slight curve in it so I really don't need a bend in it and this one for sure with how much of a bend it has just totally won't work for there there's no way for me to make that really work well that I feel comfortable with it that it's not either kinked or it's just a bad setup so I just don't want to I don't think I'm going to use any of those I think I'm going to try and get something a little better and do a little bit more research on it. I love how this paint just makes everything look brand spanking new. Most of this is brand new, but as far as the intercooler bracket goes, that is still the same that was on the original motor. And just threw on some of that paint, and I mean, it just looks like it's brand new. So that is just amazing. Super glad for that. And obviously I painted some of this stuff over here as well. So we have a ton more stuff to get on. Uh, I don't have, I mean, I still have quite a few parts, but at the same time, I am kind of starting to get to the point where I do need to order more. And I already did order more actually this morning. So I will have some more coming and I think I'm gonna order some more tonight. So definitely gonna try and keep this rolling as fast and going as hard as I can on this build to have the car at least a lot closer and have the engine and everything back in before winter don't know if it's actually going to happen but it is hopefully going to hopefully set myself that goal and make it happen but if not i guess i did what i could but hopefully i can make it happen so pretty much going to call it a night there and like i said i'm going to try and figure something out for the hoses wish i was could have got them on there but like i said i don't i don't want to question it like that so i'm just gonna not to take the chance and i'll figure something else out so hope you guys enjoyed today's video i will put the link in the description of all the stuff i used tonight so for instance the intercooler pump the spark plugs the um billet oil cap stuff like that so and if you have anything else that you want to know or any questions comments whatever be sure to leave it below if you like the video be sure to share it give it a big thumbs up be sure to smash that subscribe button Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great day.